Nick, I'd love to have your knowledge about wines when ordering for a dinner date. What are some hints? What, what can you give me? Listen, mate, I, I don't profess to be an expert when it comes to these things, but um, the the best thing to do is get the meal off on the right foot and starting with a nice glass of champagne. You know, you pick up the wine list, go straight to that first couple of pages, you'll find the champagne there. And that really sets the tone. I think, you know, it just puts, puts everyone at the table at ease. Um, and I think beyond that, you know, when, you, when you're working with really excellent quality food on the plate, um, you want a wine that's going to sit nicely with the dish, but not going to be too obtrusive, you know. So you definitely want, you know, what we call food friendly styles. And, you know, something that's not going to get in the way of, of what's going on on the plate. Sure. In terms of food, what do you think? Uh, are there some rules about what you would order on a first date and what you wouldn't, you know? Like... I don't know if there's things about not ordering things on a first date, but definitely on a first date, you want to take someone, I mean, somewhere like an in-season degustation event would be a great place to take someone on a first date, I think. Yeah, one, one of your wine dinners, Nick. <laughs> well, yeah, I, I, they're going to have a good time. We, we know, we know that's going to happen. But um, I guess that takes probably if if if, if someone was going to come to uh, you know one of these degustation events, then the stress of ordering is kind of taken away. Yeah, so, that's right. You know, you know the food's going to be good. You know the wine's going to be good, um, and they can just sit back and enjoy themselves. Yeah, that's right. You, the job's been made easy for you then. Yeah.